Hi, welcome back to Wallflowers. So today I've been and done my normal shop that I usually do on Tuesday. I know it's Wednesday today. Um, and I've got a fantastic array of things to show you now. Um, not everything's in date, um, as in best before dates. But everything that I've got here today, I'm more than happy with. I've spent a total of £12.72 um, and I know it would have cost me an awful lot more of that had I done it at the supermarkets. So in yesterday's video you saw me at the Asda um, and I spent a £20 voucher which was given to us as, from a friend for Christmas time and I had I think I had seven products and still had to put 20 pence towards it. So today, if Mr. Wallflowers can just scan over everything. So there's an awful lot here, so I'll just start talking you through it. So I've been to three um, local food initiatives, two out of town and one on my doorstep. So there's a whole tray of peas in the pods. Um, they're just looking to go past the best. Um, the food initiative had quite a lot of these. So I asked them could I buy a tray and I was given a good offer of £1. Now, as I say, the ends are drying off slightly. The peas aren't massive inside, but they're big enough. Um, they're really tasty. I've eaten a couple already. So I'm quite happy with them. So as I only have a water bather, I'm actually going to pod those and fill hopefully a couple of bag, a couple of Ziploc zip bags and um, place them in the freezer um, and use them from frozen. So that's the plan for them. So as I say, it's a full tray of potted peas there and I'm quite happy with that as a bargain for £1. Managed to get a lovely clean head of cabbage, a bag of sprouts, a nice bag of baby leaf spinach, couple of leeks and some Cavolo Nero kale which looks delicious, um, a few carrots, some red potatoes and some white potatoes so that's a nice array of vegetables for me to work with this week. Um, a couple of stews will be on the menu, um, we'll take it from there. So the rest of the products here in one of the food initiatives there was a deal on so these are two different types of salami three uh, three different types of salami and each packet was just 25 pence so it was four packets of those for a pound so as a freezer stocker and me being able to get them at such a bargain price it was a fabulous bulk buy, so I took advantage of that. And again, with the prosciutto, I did the same. Each each packet, uh, it's quite thick. Um, 312 grams, and a few layers. And each one was 25 pence, so I managed to get four packs of those for a pound which is a fabulous bulk buy and we'll be really happy with that so it's a nice good supply for the freezer of ham I managed to get just 20% fat of the mincemeat for a pound um, and yes the weight on that is just bear with me while I see 500 grams so I'm quite yes, it was already reduced in the shops, and I've paid 25 pence more than the reduced price. But I'm happy to have bought that today. Um, 
and not only am I supporting the food initiative, I've actually got some nice mince meat for the freezer. Um, a pack of fresh thick sausages. Um, they actually cost me £1.20 at the food initiative um, and I paid extra for them. So they'll be a nice treat during the week. So <clears throat> a little bit of a bulk buy here. Um, another pack of lasagna pasta. The box looks a bit battered, but the pasta itself will be fine. And it says the 24th of the 11th. Well, it's pasta, and I'm okay with that. So I will store that in a Ziploc bag and then another container and try and keep it as fresh as I can for as long as I can. It's pasta. I'm quite happy to have that out of date and to store it for a little while to use it. I love lasagnas and make them quite often, so that'll come in handy. Um, a cheese scone mix. Just easy. Just add a bit of milk and that'll be delicious uh, to accompany one of the stews we have. And also a packet of suey vegetable suet so again dumplings for the stews any puddings and pies and that's there for when we need it um this one is a chili con carne mix now i can either use that the way it is and expand it or i can just add it to a stew mix or anything else i'm cooking along the way so that's an extra um a nice victoria sponge um and it's fresh till the 2nd of february 2003 and it's a marks and spencer's one so that'll be quite delicious and we'll enjoy that 23. i said 23 yeah what did i say oh three oh 23 sorry <laughs> <laughs> so it's still in date and will last a couple of weeks again some lemon juice it's always great to have some lemon juice in so that'll be a pantry stocker because i've still got the lime juice for now and i'm quite happy with that this will be part of this evening's meal so it's basically a ciabatta bread um, with red onion and cheese on and some herbs and that will be delicious so the bread section i got some nice crusty rolls again go with any of the stews we can have a sandwich with some of the ham on etc they'll be absolutely delicious and um, before they go in the cupboard, I will actually store them in a Ziploc just to keep them slightly fresher. A nice homeless bread. Um, the date on that is the 28th. So we've still got time to go on that. And some tiger bread rolls. Absolutely delicious. So on that front, on the bread and the meat, on the vegetable front, I think I've done absolutely amazing. Um... Also, there was lots of these and I thought, well, I can either make a trifle with them, eat the fingers as they are for a dessert or do other puddings with them. Um, there's plenty of them and each packet is individually wrapped, so they will last quite a while. This was quite a novelty. Um, so this is carrot seeds in a strip. Um, so basically it's five meters of seed tape with carrot seeds and two wooden sticks and I just thought if we do get some sunshine and we are able to grow some vegetables this year that will be so easy for me to sow the sow the carrots I'll just have to do a drill place the the tape in and just cover it I've not got to fiddle around with the tiny carrot seeds um I'll enjoy popping that in myself so yeah it may look like a child's planting scheme but I'll be quite happy using that myself. The bin bags, um, these are heavy duty ones which I prefer, have uh, become quite expensive in the shops and I managed to get a roll of 20 for £1.50 in one of the initiatives today and I was glad to be able to pick them up. Also got two jars, so it's a jar of Liam Perrins and a sun-dried tomato paste. I know I've done my own sun-dried tomatoes, but just to be able to add a spoon of the pesto paste into something along the way as well just gives me added flavours and that will store in the cupboard for in the pantry for as long as I need it to. Um, so 
I'm absolutely chuffed with all of that. It gives me lots of scope for different meals and different uses, so I'm quite happy with that. These crisps are actually just past the best before they... Um, so these are the 19th of November 2022. But the thing was, it was 10 packets of these today for just £1. Now I find I've had crisps before past the best before date. There might be an odd packet along the way that's pop, pop, possibly burst or not retained its freshness. But the bulk of these will still be satisfactory and enjoyable. So for the £1 I got the 10 packets. Mr Wallflowers will take some for his lunch. Um, for work lunches every day I'll give half the bundle to the boys for them to enjoy them for their work lunches or just a snack and occasionally we'll have some on the side of a salad or just an evening snack so for a pound for 10 packets of six so what's that 60 packets of crisps for a pound I thought well that's a bargain I'm not just going to leave there I'm going to take advantage and help them get rid of the load that they want to get rid of so i'm quite happy with that this was a completely an utter freebie um and it's the the white baguettes that are half baked and you bake in the oven and again they're just slightly past the best before so these are the 20th of january 23 um so what's that 25th today so they're just two days past Five. the best before days 20, 25th yeah so they're just well five days past the best before days which i'm okay with because i can buy these full price and leave in the cupboard occasionally and um, so long as they're in a dark place they'll be okay for a week or two anyway so plenty of garlic bread plenty of sandwiches um accompaniments with soup sauce stews again half of these will go to the boys and half of them mr wallflowers and i will completely enjoy so i got a box of how many is in that box mr wallflowers two part 14. baked so there's 14 packets which gives me 28 large bread rolls and they were completely free um and i was encouraged to take a box load so a box load of bread a box load of crisps and all in all that cost me a pound um, with everything else here so all in all i've paid 12 pounds 72 and i'm just amazed with it all um, we've eaten well as long along with some extra little bits that i'll take from the freezer i can make some amazing meals so i won't be going back to the asda or the supermarkets unless i need more of the cheese that i got yesterday um i don't get coffee there i get coffee elsewhere um and yeah i'll be sticking with the food initiatives <laughs> okay thank you so much for joining me just let have another good look of everything we've got here mr wallflowers i'm absolutely thrilled with everything we've got the meat bulk bars especially you know to be able to put them away and i'll so enjoy and podding these peas be fabulous and of course some nice compost with the shells with the pots Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon. Bye.